almost everything we know about the interior of the sun is from the study of the sound waves. This is the sound of the sun, sped up 40,000 times. The sound is generated by the massive turbulence deep inside the star. It sends shock waves racing towards the surface. When these waves reach the surface, they cause the surface to move up and down. And from this motion, we get an idea of the solar sound. Stathis has discovered that when these sound waves travel through a rising sunspot region, they speed up. Knowing this allows him to detect a giant spot from 40,000 miles down, up to three days before they surface. This discovery could help predict the source of the largest solar storms. What we have here is a plot of the number of sunspots on the disk of the sun. You can see that the number of sunspots is reaching a peak. When it does that, we'll have the maximum amount of solar activity, the maximum number of solar storms coming from the sun and impacting the Earth. A direct hit from a massive solar storm could destroy the technology that powers our civilization, from communications to banking to our water supply. A single great geomagnetic superstorm would be sufficient to end civilization as we know it. Experts fear that a solar superstorm is long overdue. To understand solar storms, we first have to understand where the sun gets its power. Phil travels 400,000 miles below the surface to the core of the sun. energy produced here in just one second would power our entire world for nearly a million years. This is the sun's powerhouse, the most violent and extreme place in our star. The pressures here are so intense, Earth would be crushed like a soda can, and that creates total havoc at an atomic level. It's nuclear fusion on a colossal scale. This incredible chaos is made up of the nuclei, the cores of hydrogen atoms, and they're flying around me at more than a million miles per hour. When two collide, you're witnessing the birth of sunlight. Each collision is so violent, it produces a packet of pure energy called a photon. We know it as sunshine. The core is so dense, the photons can take over 100,000 years to reach the sun's surface and light our entire solar system. The sunlight we see today was created during the last ice age. All this energy generates another powerful but invisible force, magnetism. It governs everything on the sun and is ultimately responsible for these sunspots, the breeding ground of solar storms. The superstorm has the potential to be a national disaster. With over 80,000 miles of high voltage lines, and 2,000 transformers supplying the nation's electricity, the power grid is extremely vulnerable to a solar storm of this magnitude. So you have electricity flowing through the air, and it's actually strong enough to induce currents in the Earth. And then it flows into the transmission lines that are connected in the Earth, and that current is incompatible with the transformers and what they're used to seeing. Electrical currents from a major solar storm would overwhelm the transformers that control electricity to the grid. We can go from normal 
uh, electric power grid uh, operating conditions to complete lights out over a continent in a matter of just a few minutes. Tens of millions of people would be affected. Civilization as we know it would be brought to its knees. Power stations struggle as the storm hits. Electricity surges. Transformers start to overheat and explode. If those are knocked out of commission over a broad regional scale, then the power grid would collapse very suddenly. One night of no power causes chaos. What would happen if a solar superstorm took down the grid for days or even months? Given our current state of unpreparedness, a geomagnetic superstorm would be a catastrophe for military and civilians alike. With the sun now reaching its most violent phase in 11 years, this threat is very real. If a massive solar storm hit Earth, how bad would it be? Are we prepared? 